Okay, well, I guess we're in Crestwood. Shit, did I talk to Janna yet? Yeah, they're they're just amazing. Uh, okay, yeah, let's talk to her. I don't remember if I talked to her before. Oh, I guess. Uh. Spoiler alert! If <laughs> uh, if you send it to the wardens, uh, she ends up dying. Um. Now I'd normally be okay with that, but I want recruits, so don't join the wardens. Joining the Grey Wardens is not a good idea. Oh, Mako. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes, the Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. You actually want that? I mean, they're heroes, but fighting that stuff all the time. Find another way to help people. The Wardens have problems of their own right now. Yes, Your Worship. I'm sure there's something else I can do to help. Yeah, so... You know, whatever. I wanted to, I want a damn agent. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I, I guess... I swear I'll avoid the Wardens, Inquisitor. Thank you for the warning. Did I warn you? I just said they had problems of their own. Like, that didn't... That wasn't a warning. Whatever. Um... I'd also like to know how the fuck Blackwall knew. Black... Blackwall. Uh... Did I say Blackwell at first? I don't even know. Actually... Oh my god. Oh no! I, oh no! Oh, I've unleashed Pandora's box on myself now. Like, I don't know what I said the first time, but... Blackwall... How the fuck did he know? Uh, and anyway, what I triggered myself... Oh, I was gonna talk about my Fallout 3 related stuff, but yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go... Up. Oh, fuck it, fuck it. I'll talk about goddamn thing that's triggering me right now. Uh. Dead by the gates. The gods need help. They need help. Ah! Oh sure. Okay. Hello. How are you? Sure. There. Here's some. There's some barrier. I don't even know. I don't remember if these guys can actually die. But whatever. More of them on their way from the lake. How do you know? How the fuck do you know? Do you sight? What do you see over the hills? How the fuck? Sure. Okay. Whatever. No one this time. Did you see? The corpses are coming from where old Crestwood used to be. The amount of people we lost back during the blight. I'm not surprised. All right. Well, the blight was ten years ago. Move the fuck on, people. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Um. Let's go grab this thing. So anyway. Yeah, the black wall mess. When I, whatever. The, there's this game called Life is Strange. Oh my gosh, it is like one of the one of the most cringiest pieces of garbage I've ever seen. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh, I, they just totally missed the mark with that game. It could have. Tossed those bandits out of the fort. I'd buy you a drink if the tavern was still running. Okay, so life is strange. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> oh, I like, but if you got there first, all is well. Whatever. Anyway, like I didn't actually play the game. Uh, I watched it a couple of times. I watched a uh, bro team's playthrough of it. Uh, they streamed that. I watched. Uh, I was linked it after the fact. I was like, okay, I guess I'll watch it again. I watched it previously just to get an idea of it because I saw a video where someone was talking. I was like, okay, whatever. Oh, time trap. Well, c color my asshole intrigued at least enough to check it out. And then once I started, I'm like, oh my god, this is—it's just—it is just a cringy experience. And then I just kind of—I mean, I kind of—I had—I felt like I had to finish it at least, you know. Um. Uh, every now and then, I used, well, we haven't done it in a while, uh, there's a TeamSpeak posse that I, I talk to, right, and uh, we haven't done it in a while, or at least I haven't, I don't know if they've done it when I was away or not, but, um, basically, Goodbye. we would watch 
Like, Darkseid Phil, like, he's he's bad at everything. He's fucking awful, and he complains in, like, the worst way. Um, <laughs> we'd watch it, and I, you know, I don't, I don't know about the others, but when I watch it, it's, it's just, it was fun to make fun of him, you know? Um, oh, hey, look at this. Oh! Well, okay, then. I guess I don't get to read today. Um, it's just... So basically, I watched, you know, Life is Strange just to make fun of it, to, or at least finished it and stuff. Um, I mean, I kind of, I could kind of dig the concept, although they did a terrible job at writing, and they did a terrible job at writing the rules on how this time travel was supposed to work. And it, it, it doesn't work for a linear game such that it is at all. Uh, if it was like, if it was non-linear, it would work much better. If it had some sort of choice-based open world, uh, it doesn't need to be open world, but it just needs to be not as linear as it is. It's ridiculous. Um, Cause you're basically shoehorned into these contrived bullshits. Now, for example, let's pretend this door is closed, right? There's a scene where you have to blow open the door, and then what you do is you go inside, you rewind. Now the door's closed, and you've never actually blown up the door anymore. So there's like no alarm to get you guys caught. So now that you're inside, boom, you go to the door, you open it, you let your friend in, boom, fantastic time travel. However, it's like. The scene right before it, you had to, like, sneak past a principal or whatever? But for some reason, you have to, like... I guess it seemed like you just spam re Like, he's, you know, messing with his keys at the fucking door or something. And he's looking, you know, he's looking away from you. He's messing with the door. But he turns around to sit on the steps. So, if you try to walk past him, your character's trying to be sneaky, but he sees you, so you have to rewind to where he's not looking at you or whatever, and then you go past. But what I don't get is, why couldn't you just go past him, rewind, well now he's never seen you! You're already gone! So, like, he never saw you at that point. You, so basically, the way the rewind power works is, well, you're, not te you're technically not teleporting. But in all, for, in terms of, like, everyone who's viewing you time travel, you're basically teleporting. Um, so let's say, oh, hey, I'm Maxine. Hey, Warren, what's up, Warren? Rewind. And then I'm standing behind him, resume time. Hey, Warren. Boom! I just teleported in his eye, or to, in, in terms of, from his perspective, it seemed like I would have teleported. Um... However, no one in the game reacts to such a thing, um, so, whatever. Um, there's also the rule where, like, when you rewind with an item, the item stays with you. I'm not- I'm conflicted on that. So at the same time, you have to take into account, well, if she rewinds, you know, is she gonna leave her clothes behind? No! When she rewinds, she takes items with her. Boom! That solves that problem. Um, however this- oh my, it, it just kinda hurts my brain to think about it, but, man, time travel, man. Hurt. It hurts, but yeah, it's yeah. So that's that problems. Their rules and the the shoehorned ways you get past certain areas. It just it's not right. The and the writing is cringy. Like, you know, my uh, do do I want to say friend? Friend's a strong word for some fucking asshole. But uh, there's this guy I know, Eric. He's Brendan's brother, and Brendan's my bud. And, um, he's like, Brad, do a playthrough, Life is Strange. I'm like, no, if you want me to do that, you buy it for me. <laughs> and it's like, I was thinking about it. If I were to do that, oh my gosh, it's like, I would have a hella counter. Hella, 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 hella. Like, what is that? Do people say that seriously? Sort of like, um, the word y'all. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. And it's actually gotten to the point where I've started saying them both, just because I think they're stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh it's whatever. Um, oh, yeah, Life is Strange is... Oh, my God. Like, just watch a playthrough of that and just, just facepalm so fucking hard. Also, you can break these boards off. 
I guess my I guess I can't do it with my lightsaber, but you can break those off. Um, but the door doesn't open. You have to beat the uh, the crest with shit. Water isn't different enough. I didn't catch what Cole said. That'd be my bad. So let's talk to Gold. Hi. Why doesn't Judith live in the village while this is going on? Maker, if something happens. I've met Judith. She seems well. She does. Thank you for telling me. Did she um say anything about me? No, never mind. Forget I said anything, please. Hey! <laughs> All right. So yeah, you got to complete Crestwood to get to that door. Uh, also, after you complete Crestwood, I mentioned this a lot. Feels like a while ago, definitely. Um, it opens up a shop. Oh hey, look at there's a store sign already. And this is actually one of the shops I think is important to me because I don't remember like. I feel like I say this every session. Like, there's something I don't know if I have enough of. <sighs> so, I know this is... If... if What I... I actually don't know anymore. Is it, fuck, was it one of the plants? Had, it has to be one of the plants. Um, that I can buy there. So, whatever. <sighs> okay. So, that's a mayor. Let's see, what is up here? Oh, yeah, I guess this... Whole area is kind of covered. Let's see, there is. Let's go talk to the chantry person up here, and then I will go speak to the mayor. Why the hell not? Actually, you know what? Shit. Let's go talk to him first because, you know, maybe uh, I don't know if I have to talk to him first or not. Whatever. Let's see. Can I look at anything? Got any books? Any notes? Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Oh, hey, look at here. The Anderfells. They are a land of shocking extremes. Sure they are. All right, Mr. Mayor, what's up, bro? The Inquisitor, oh, Mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village, at your service, despite everything. Are you here to stop the undead? We should, we could. Everyone here is so scared. Hmm, yeah, scared they shall be. The gate to the dam controls is locked. Do you have a key? Whatever for? Are you trying to stop that green light? The undead attacked after it came, but... <laughs> your Worship, please don't risk your life. Um, do you know who the fuck I am? Trust me, I've fought worse than bandits and the undead. Then... Then I have no choice. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under Old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. We farm what we can, trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We only want peace, Your Worship. It's all we've ever wanted. I'm surprised a town as small as Crestwood outlasted the Blight. It was a close thing. The Darkspawn followed a band of refugees running from the Blight. Some of the refugees were... They were very ill. But we took them in. They perished when the Darkspawn flooded old Crestwood. Uh, how did Darkspawn manage that? They found the dam's controls. Wrecked them. All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming as they drowned. And now, they return to us. Until later. Of course. Okay. Uh, now we can go... Wow, look at you just slipping and sliding, Janna. May could be with you, Inquisitor. Thank you for all your help. Okay, well I thought that was going to have a new dialogue to where, like, she talked to them, or I don't fucking know. Maybe that's if she joins them. Um, message board. This board has several papers and scraps of paper pinned to it. Oh, really? I would have never gathered that conclusion based on the papers, you know, pinned to it. Uh, no one is to approach the dragon again. I have sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any signs of Henry at first light. Mayor Dedrick. One of my lambs went missing. Stripe on front right hoof. Disappeared. Yes. 
what is that shorthand for yesterday? Uh, oh, yeah, yes evening in Upper Meadow. Okay. Unlo it, okay, I'm, I'm assuming it's short for yesterday. Um, Irvin, let's see. Uh, if anyone spots Eddie, send for me. Don't let her sweet talk you into anything else. She knows what she did. Penelope. Or Penelope. One of those. Uh, need rake? I will lend you one for five copers. Okay. Come see me. I also have... Okay. This guy's illiterate. I have Wajin. It's very good. Okay. Uh, take it away from my hom. Br bring, bring wheels. Why? Okay. Someone has also carved Milton and Lonnie into the background. Okay. I don't know if it meant like the back of this or whatever. Uh, so let's just go up here. Oh shit, I also, also new Mass Effect stuff. Which uh, I'm not sure how to feel about because I'm really conflicted after, you know, thing. Because, you know, obviously Bioware has had a change in game design direction ever since the origin in Mass Effect 1 days. So I kind of, you know, I'm kind of skeptical uh, about things. You know, I want to play an RPG, not a, not a straightforward action game that just happens to have leveling up in it, you know? Um, that would be preferable, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, Maker, hear my cry. How about eat shit? Alright, Sister Vaughn. I am Sister Vaughn. Does the mayor finally plan to drain the lake? I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. Yeah, based on that dialogue, like, I don't know if I would have to talk to him first or not. Uh, like, does the mayor finally plan to drain... Well, how the fuck would I know if I didn't talk to him, right? So maybe I wouldn't even have the option to talk to her? I don't know. Have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. There will be endless time to mourn. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. Okay, and since this game doesn't have cinematic cameras anymore, I'm going to try and make these t talking sequences as uncinematic as they possibly can. Um, just to display how stupid of a design choice it was. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, one of the things about Fallout 4, actually, is... Uh, you know, you can go in your first person, your third person. Actually, hopefully third person works in the game. You know, if you play Fallout 3 or New Vegas in third person, it doesn't work all that well. You know, the cursor is not necessarily aligned with everything. And if you want to shoot guns, it doesn't work all that entirely well for certain things. Heck, in New Vegas, I had a glitch in third person or trying to use a laser rifle. It wouldn't even shoot near the crosshair. It was completely bugged. I, it was a game bug in the game, you know. Uh, it was terrible. Uh, but anyway, um... In Fallout 4, it's like you can talk to people in first person, in third person. It's got the cinematic cameras and shit in the third person. Or you can just go in the first person like it's always been in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Um, so, great, I guess. Let's see. Uh, you want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the Maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Your devotion does you credit. Seek a pentecast. Forgive me. I did not expect to see the right hands of the divine in our humble village. Be at ease. We have too much to do to stand on track. Yes, Seeker. As you say. What did you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. Until later. Andraste guide you. I just noticed I have a dagger in my back belt or whatever. You know, I really don't like it when they do things like that. This is, real, this is really nitpicky, but, uh, uh, like, why are weapons and vials or other miscellaneous objects, like, part of an outfit? 
Because obviously I can't actually use a fucking dagger. So why is it there? But whatever. Um. Okay. Logging site. Located. Fantastic. Now let's see here. Uh. Oh, hey. Find a door that leads to the dam. Oh, I wonder where that could be. Oh. Alright. Did I go to that cave yet? Okay, yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's, um... I guess I will drain. I want to end this session. Uh, in a bit. I just want to drain. I want to. I want to drain the lake first. Hopefully, I have enough time to talk. Actually, I probably. I really don't know. There's no way I have enough time for what I want to talk about. Um, I guess I could talk about fa or the Mass Effect stuff first. Uh, and then maybe just talk about the Fallout Three stuff. Farewell. Uh, next. I anyway. Um. For Fallout 3, I've actually begun modding. The mayor said the down controls were through this gate. So I've started modding for Fallout 3 on the old PC there. Um, I can't believe it took me this long, you know. Um, you know, I can't play Fallout 3 in New Vegas on low. It's not very, it's not very good. But uh, there's the frame rate. Well, the frame rate is fine, but it does drop in certain that instances. On the dam must be where we can open the floodgate. You know, things like a fire, an explosion, or whatever. Or maybe a, just a lot of shit to load in for the game in general. It's gonna run a little slower, but when it's not in those uh, certain circumstances, then it runs fine, just pretty good. Um, however, it would be nice not to play it in low anymore. <clears throat> so I'm getting a video card soon. And um, anyway, Fallout 3, I have begun making a mod. Um, one of the things I've been doing, like, um, you know, I made, I posted those two Fallout 3 videos in, like, April or whatever. You know, April 1st, and then the other one was sometime after that. Uh, and then I, I, I was attempting a ghoul voice. I was told it sounds more like Morgan Freeman, but whatever. It's not, I was going for a ghoul voice. <laughs> not very good, I suppose. Uh, but it, that's not the point. But anyway, I started out making a joke mod. That was just going to be the sake, because I, I plan on doing, I want to do a third, uh, another, another Fallout 3 video, um, <clears throat> for, you know, uh, to, to, to basically play it as a finale to that small little series, you know, whatever, series of videos. Um, so I was doing some, you know, hollow tapes or whatever with my ghoul voice, for whatever, for whatever reason it's kind of quiet though, I don't know why, it's really lame. But then it ended up going from there, and I started making some weapons. I actually made a corpse of the supposed ghoul guy who left these hollow tapes, and one it's like a joke, like you can find a joke hollow tape on him that says, "Oh no, I am slipping." Ugh. Hold on, let me let me try to do the ghoul voice. Oh my god, it's so bad. I, f I found when doing it though, it was much easier to do when I was thirsty, so so the voice is more you know gravelly and shit, because I can't I can't do that shit normally. Um, <clears throat> Yum yum. Yum yum. Hello. Hey, what's up, Doc? I'm a. F <laughs> what was the fucking line? Um. Hey, what's up, Doc? I'm only sharing this with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and, uh. Oh no. I'm slipping. Uh, that's not very. That's. It's not sounding right in my head, that's for damn sure. Um. I need I need to warm up practice uh, before I got it going to how I wanted it to sound. It's a work in progress, you know. You gotta practice these things. Oh. What in? <gasps> the Inquisitor. We didn't know you were here, sir. Please don't tell anyone. How did you get past the guards? There weren't any when we got here. We just heard you killed the bandits, Your Worship. We didn't know you were moving in. We promise. You won't tell people we were here, will you? Why would people care what you're up to? Lonnie's mum and dad think I'm bad for her. <sighs> we'll have to wait an hour to go back. Your father will still be up. I knew this was a mistake. We could try the caves. You hate spiders. You find somewhere next time. What? Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? 